Good afternoon, everybody. It's Andrew Lewis here with your Under the Dome update for today, February 21, 2019. We just wrapped up another legislative week here at the Capitol, and as your state representative from the 105th District, I wanted to give you an update on kind of what's going on, because this is your Capitol. What happens here is absolutely your business, and I want to keep you updated as I work hard here to increase government transparency, reform government so that it works for all of us, and to transform Pennsylvania into being a top state in the country for jobs and opportunity. And speaking of jobs, this week we unveiled as a Republican caucus the Good Jobs for PA in initiative, which places a renewed focus on boosting workforce development across Pennsylvania. As you all know, this is one of my top priorities because we have huge shortages in the workforce uh, of skilled workers that is affecting our economy and affecting almost every business I talk to. And so the Good Jobs for PA initiative is a a pretty much a comprehensive legislative package of bills that will be coming through the House to address these issues with a strong focus on educational programs, access to opportunities for workers of all ages. Uh, there are programs that are going to introduce students uh, to opportunities in the workplace before they graduate so they have exposure to understanding what, what options are available to them. And we'll also focus heavily on career and technical education. Now this launch coincided with the governor signing an executive order to create the Keystone Economic Development and Workforce Command Center. So as you can see, there is strong bipartisan support for this issue from both parties, and it is, in my mind, an example of good governance, where both parties are working together to accomplish uh, an objective that will help all of us and to improve our economy, but mostly that will help workers and will improve families' lives. Um, as you know, career and technical education is so important, and I saw firsthand the value of these programs when I visited the Dauphin County Technical School a couple weeks ago during my skilled workforce tour. And a bunch of you uh, were able to watch those videos along with us uh, of that great experience. Uh, we have a number of bills coming through the House that's going to affect workforce development. Um, and like I said, uh, this is going to be very good because a lot of kids uh, coming through high school are looking at one option, and that's post-secondary education. But we want them also to understand, in addition to that, which is very important, we also want them to understand there are other opportunities as well for going into the skilled trades. Uh, so this is very focused on getting uh, students, workers, small business owners, anyone willing to work, uh, an opportunity to enter the workforce in a light and a meaningful career that is going to be uh, providing them with a family sustaining job. A couple other things, uh, and we moved a number of legislative um, bills through the House this week, but a couple of them that would be of interest to, to you. One, improving the do not call list. So. We're all getting very frustrated by these telemarketing spammers that are lighting up our cell phones with uh, spam uh, calls. And so this week, you, you, you spoke and we listened and we passed a bill through the House to improve our state's do not call list by eliminating the requirement that people re-register their numbers every five years. So how it currently works is you fall off the registry every five years and then all of a sudden you get inundated with these calls. And so this bill that passed through the House, among other protections that would protect privacy and protect our consumers out there, it also keeps you on the list. So you don't expire from that list and you just, you're protected from being badgered endlessly by these telemarketers. So uh, this, and it also prohibits these telemarketing calls on legal holidays when you're trying to enjoy the day with your family. So this is a good bill. It did pass the House. It now moves to the Senate for their consideration, and then it would have to be signed into law by the governor. Uh, so moving on, another uh, bill that was passed through the House that may be of interest to some of you. I know we have a, a, a ton of motorcycle riders in the 105th District, um, and so this is a consumer-friendly bill that passed the House. It basically adds motorcycles to the PA Lemon Law. So it just there's some consumer protections that you get when you buy a motorcycle that, uh, that dealerships have to abide by. And basically this protects you if you're to buy a Lemon motorcycle. As somebody who has purchased a motorcycle before who that turned out kind to be a lemon, I would benefit from this bill. Uh, so I just want to say this is a very good bill. It passed the House. It's going to go to the Senate for their uh, consideration as well. And then uh, we'll move to the governor, if it passes, for his signature. 
So a quick look ahead to next week. We are one, hoping the weather cooperates for next week's town hall meeting in South Hanover Township. We had one scheduled this last week in West Hanover on Wednesday, but we had to combine that due to the weather. Uh, we had to combine that with our South Hanover Town Hall. It's gonna be Wednesday the 27th at 6 p.m. in the South Hanover Municipal Center. And I'm gonna be giving you an update on things that are going on in the Capitol, but mostly I'm gonna be hearing from you because government works for the people, not the other way around, and I have an obligation to listen to you. And so that's gonna be at the uh, South Hanover Township Municipal Center at 161 Patriot Way, Hershey. If you put that in your GPS, it'll get you right there. At the Capitol next week, the House Appropriations Committee will resume its hearings, examining Governor Tom Wolf's 2019-2020 state budget proposal. Um, so among the agencies set to appear before the committee next week are state police, transportation, corrections, health, human services, and community and economic development. Uh, th these are funds that belong to you. They belong to the taxpayer and they're being spent. And so I would encourage you to watch these hearings if you have the time uh, and be engaged. It's at pahousegop.com. And if you have any feedback on what you're hearing that you want to bring to my attention so I can bring it to the Appropriations Committee Chair's attention, please let me know. Uh, RepLewis.com is my email address. You can reach me uh, and I read every email and my staff and I do our best to respond very quickly. And you can also follow me on Facebook at Rep Lewis there on Facebook. So I encourage you to get involved, get engaged, let me know what you're thinking so I can successfully and effectively carry your voice here to Harrisburg. And so that is the latest Under the Dome update. I appreciate your attention. Reach out if you have any questions, comment here on Facebook, and we'll do our best to get back to you. Thanks so much and have a good weekend.